I've been living in China for more than 20 years now. And one of the things that has absolutely blown me away is how closely related China is to the Bible. You know, I can tell the entire story from Genesis by looking at the Chinese ancient characters. Every single day, Chinese all over the world are writing characters that give testimony to the Mosaic book of Genesis. For instance, when we look at the very first boat that is talked about in the Bible, we have Noah's Ark. Well, if we look at the, the, the character, the Chinese character for boat, we have a vessel with eight people. There is Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their three wives. Eight people on a vessel. That is the story of the very first boat in Genesis. That is the character for boat in Chinese. Let's look at another character. If we look at the very first murder that takes place in the Bible, it's between two brothers. We have Cain and Abel. When we look at the word for brother in Chinese, Xiong, this word Xiong sounds very close to the word for murderer, Xiong. So we have two words that sound almost the same in the character is almost the same. We have a man with a head for the character for brother, and we have the exact same character, a man with a head, except for murderer has a mark on the head. If we look at the biblical story of what happened after Cain killed his brother Abel, Cain's head is marked. It goes even further. If I look at the Chinese character for deceiver, I find a very interesting story. The word for deceiver is the devil in the garden telling a secret. Here we have the very first time that we are introduced to Satan in the garden. We have several things in Chinese history that relate so closely to the Bible, and it's not just Chinese characters. If we look at the very first border sacrifices that the Chinese emperor did in northern China more than 5,000 years ago, they wrote something very powerful, I believe, to the God of Shangdi, the God that they believed was the creator of all. Let me read directly from a translation from that border sacrifice and see if you've heard anything like this before in the book of Genesis. Of old, in the beginning, there was great chaos, without form and dark. The five elements had not begun to revolve, nor the sun and the moon to shine. You, O sovereign, first divided the grosser parts from the pure. You made heaven and you made earth, you made man, and all things with their reproducing power got their being from you. Here, if we look at how God created the world in the first six days, we see almost an exact blueprint from the ancient border sacrifice that the Chinese made to the God of Shangdi, the God that created all things. I've been to the Beijing Temple of Heaven many times. And at the temple of heaven, it's fascinating how this temple that was made to give sacrifice to Shangdi does not have one single image. There's no image allowed to be made of Shangdi. Many have actually argued that Shangdi is the Chinese translation derived from the ancient word of Shaddai. When we look at the beginning of the Bible and how closely it relates with Chinese and Chinese history. I think that we would be even more surprised at how China relates to end time prophecy found in the book of Revelation. This is why I wrote a book called China and End Time Prophecy. It's available now on backtojerusalem.com. 